The acts of defiance are growing bolder and spreading to more cities. Protesters shout, step down, Xi Jinping. His zero COVID strategy has pushed them past a breaking point. It triggers a predictable response, part of the reason why dissent is so rare in China. How many people have been arrested so far and what's happened to the detained remains unclear. What is certain? There will be consequences for those caught speaking out against President Xi. Because President Xi uh, tied himself to the zero COVID policy. So when people are protesting against excessiveness of the policy, uh, it become more likely to challenge directly uh, the leadership. China's zero COVID strategy has kept case counts low, but it also traps millions in their homes and shuts down businesses for long periods of time. Now, many blame it for what happened here. Ten people died on Thursday in an apartment fire. They say the emergency response was too slow. A fire truck appeared to get stuck behind fencing used to keep people in their buildings. And on social media, witnesses claimed some of the victims were locked in their units. Officials deny that's the case, but it's infuriated thousands to the point of protest. Where the government actually overestimate the people's ability to endure all the pains associated with zero COVID. The strategy is also being criticized from a public health perspective. Some argue China should have purchased higher quality vaccines and that it isn't locking down for the right reasons. When you put restrictions, you do it to give you time to be able to do something productive. They, to at least from what we were 